Linus Tech Tips coverage of Computex 2016 is brought to you by the Corsair Lapdog, the gaming center that allows you to use a full-size keyboard and mouse from your couch, and by MSI. So normally in the Corsair suite, they're like, oh yeah, we've got like these fan things we're showing, and I'm like, ah, fan, but... This year is a little different. They actually have five new fans that they're showing off, some of which are more about the showing off, and some of which are actually more about the performance, which uh, both are interesting, but I think you guys know where I'm going to be headed and more excited about. Let's do the showy stuff first, though. This right here is the HD120 RGB. It uses the same blade design as the existing SP LED, but the frame design has been updated. Thank freaking everyone, is George here, thank you George for stopping arguing with me about this because I've been asking for years for them to do away with that round frame that doesn't seal properly against radiators and it's finally been done. So you've got the rubber grommets a little bit on the inside and then you've got a more square frame design that should allow these to perform well in pretty much any scenario. But it's not about necessarily the performance here on these ones. It's about this little puppy right here. So this controller on the side allows you to cycle the fan speed. It allows you to cycle the LED lighting mode mode and it allows you to cycle the colors depending on what kind of a fireworks show you want going on in your case. It's available in three different SKUs. A fan, a fan and a controller and a hub, and three fans, a controller and a hub because the fans themselves don't, well they work, you, you can cool things with them, but they don't work in terms of lighting without this lighting controller module right here and then the hub allows you to use a single lighting controller module to control up to six fans at a time. Personally, I'd love to see this integrated into something like Corsair Link in the future or uh, whatever they're calling Q, thank you, whatever they're calling their other one. But this is a great start and if you're into your case looking like a you know, nightclub, then this looks like pretty much the way to do it. I actually personally like the SP120 RGB non-HD version a little bit better. It doesn't allow you to have all the like crazy disco lighting effects around it. It's just an RGB LED fan, but between the frosted blades and the actual illumination from the hub itself, I think they've got a really, really nice look to it. It uses the same controller, allowing you to change the color as well as the mode, so you can cycle through colors, you can breathe, whatever else the case may be. And it runs at a lower RPM, which for for me is personally a little more appealing. So this guy is 1800 and this one I think 1400, something along those lines. But both of these are still using that SP LED fan blade design, not a redesigned fan blade. Let's move on. This is where Corsair got my attention. This is their new ML series. And I know I said there were five fans and I've only showed four so far. One of them they're actually not showing. It's a super basic ML series that doesn't have the rubber grommets and it doesn't have the replaceable you know, color corners or anything like that. That one I would speculate is gonna end up on their all-in-one liquid coolers or something like that in the future because this is all about performance. So they're using a maglev bearing that is about as good as it gets to have no contact in the bearing itself. Very freaking cool. And they're using a completely new blade design that's like an all-rounder. Now I've talked a lot about SP versus AF, static pressure versus airflow. And in theory, and this is true of anyone who's tried to differentiate their fans in this way, including guys like Noctua with their S versus their NF series, the problem with an airflow optimized fan is that it's, great, it's a great idea, but there's really nowhere in a computer that you're not going to have a grill, a fan filter, a radiator, or a heat sink. So having something that's optimized for static pressure mostly, but also delivers good airflow, is probably the way forward and it looks like Corsair agrees. So they're using that same more square frame design, they're using an all-rounder fan blade design, they're using a fantastic bearing, and they claim and they're mostly trustworthy guys, and I know they have like the, the Hadron Collider, as I call it. They've got like a $50,000 fan testing machine. So they're claiming across its massive controllable RPM range, this puppy goes from 400 to 2400 RPM, and this guy goes from 400 to 2000 RPM. That is within 1% of what you guys probably know is my favorite fan at the moment. And if you cherry pick certain RPMs and you can 
compare them at a decibel per CFM sort of scenario as much as 17% better, which is uh, pretty darn, uh, that's a bold claim. Why don't, we why don't we just say that? So it's available in three different flavors. The plain Jane one I mentioned before, the slightly less plain Jane one right here, which has interchangeable corners, but no LED lighting, all the way up to, yes, my friends, it's Corsair. So of course it's gonna have to have LEDs all over it, but not actually RGB, surprisingly. Although that won't surprise you when I tell you the prices. So there's the ML, there's the ML Pro, which is right here, and then there's the ML Pro LED, and they are not going to be cheap. So for the Pro, we're gonna be looking at 25 bucks for a 120 mil, $28 for a 140 mil, and then for the RGB version, we're looking at $28 for a 120 mil, all the way up to $33 for a 140 mil. But if you're building a no compromises rig, well, I guess that's pretty much what you're going to be stuck with. The colors you see here are the colors that will be available, and as far as uh, changing out the available corner colors, I'd love to see more in the future, like maybe, oh, I don't know, say orange, but uh, Corsair hasn't commented on any of that. Thanks once again to Corsair and MSI for allowing us to be here at Computex this year. You can check out more about the Corsair lapdog that I mentioned at the beginning of the video at the link in the video description, and don't miss... And don't miss, also linked below, MSI's Aegis desktop as well as their GTX 1080 lineup, which we'll be covering later on this week. Make sure you're subscribed to Linus Tech Tips so you don't miss any Computex 2016 coverage, and I will see you guys at the next booth. And hopefully I don't lose my voice. This is actually not too bad considering how bad it was earlier this week.